What's going on YouTube? You've tuned in to Busmaster99 once again, and today I proudly present an in-depth tour with no engine start of a 2019 Audi A8. Ignition switches down here. You push once and that turns on the ignition. So down here, you have controls for your climate, your radio, multi-function controls like the Audi air suspension and drive modes. You have four different drive modes. Comfort, automatic, dynamic, and individual. And you can configure your individual. And over here, you can raise or lower your air suspension. Home button. So this is where you can go between your 12 different user menus. like vehicle, which is what we were just in. There's also that shortcut down here. Can also go to system settings. Navigation. And currently it is in night mode because the light control sensor detects that it is dark. <laughs> even though it's not. So this is the Audi virtual cockpit. Coming down here, we have the transmission selector. So to use it, you put your foot on the brake, push the button on the end, pull it back for drive, up or down halfway for neutral, all the way up for reverse and then if you tilt it over that puts it in manual mode and you can switch between drive and sport while in drive by just pulling back and for park just push the P that brings us to the parking brake right behind so you pull up to apply there's a light on the parking brake switch that, that, that lets you know it's on and then up here next to the check engine light and the right turn signal indicator. There's another indicator for the parking brake. To disengage, you can't just simply push it. You must press on the brake, then push down. Audi Drive Select, so you can go between your different drive modes like this. If you didn't want to touch the screen, we're just going to leave it in comfort. We've got traction control off. And if you push and hold the traction, traction control button, you can turn the electronic stability control completely off. And then just push again to turn it back on. Hazard lights. We'll come back to the lights later. Defrost options. Safety systems. You can, can choose how aggressive the safe, uh, safety systems will be. You can also configure in the individual mode. You can see the information of each safety system the vehicle has to offer. You 
can turn systems on and off. More options. And then down here is the parking cameras. Currently we are in front view. Are you getting a tutorial? He's doing his YouTube. Oh crap. Sorry about that. It's all right. The viewers might find that funny now. <laughs> All right, you can change your views by tapping this button and then selecting a view. See a view above the car, behind the car, which normally pops up when you put the car into reverse. Another rear view. We're gonna just switch it back into front view. You also have a 3D view of the vehicle. The air vents are also electronically controlled. And so is the light switch. So it is no longer a knob. Instead, you have three buttons. One to switch between the four lighting modes, auto being the default. And then these buttons here are for the front and rear, um, well, I shouldn't say front and rear fog lights. It only has rear fog lights. This is actually the all-weather light. It is not a front fog light. So if you push once from auto, that's low beams. Push again, that's parking lights. And you also get, um... Well, I guess you only get the parking lights icon over here when, when you switch on the parking lights and the in, uh, ignition is off. So, automatic lights, low beams, side marker lights. And when you click it one more, that turns the lights completely off. But notice it has an exclamation mark at the end as if it was a bad thing to turn off the lights. Well, it's good for the battery but bad for if you turn them off at night and then you forget to turn them back on or put them back in automatic before you start to drive. But, not to fret there, Audi thought of that. When you start to drive away, if the lights are in parking lights, then the automatic lights reactivate once you exceed 20 miles an hour and Automatic lights will reactivate when you exceed six miles per hour if the lights are completely switched off, which they are now. Naturally, all four windows are fully automatic and I like the chrome details on the switches. So over here we have the mirror controls. Driver, off, passenger, heated mirrors, and this folds the mirrors in. Moving it to any other position will unfold them. Two-person memory presets. So now let's go ahead and switch on the exterior lighting. All-weather light. Rear fog lights. And the hazards. And check this out. The door opens electronically. Lock and unlock buttons right next to them. By them, I mean uh, memory presets and the door release. We have the trunk release here. So these are the all-weather lights, and these are sensors. And check out the turn signals. These are some of the coolest turn signals I've ever seen on a vehicle. They are animated in both the front and in the back. As you can see in the reflection.
fuel door. 91 octane or more only. But check out this tail light that runs across the entire rear. That is really cool. Power trunk. Lots of trunk space, as you would expect with an A8. Emergency markers. Then you have the option to power close the tailgate, or trunk, or you can close it and lock the vehicle by pushing that button. 12 volt power outlet. And I believe this, if I'm not mistaken, is the emergency release. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Because I don't see one. Oh, never mind. I, I stand corrected. I corrected myself. That is right here. So if you get stuck in the trunk, not to fear, just pull this and the trunk releases. Yep, I did that on purpose. Now let's go ahead and switch off the all weather light. And now we'll switch on the high beams. All right, now I'm going to switch the lights off. And I'm going to pop the hood. I'll show the climate controls after I'm done under the hood. So with the lights completely off, all of the exterior lighting, including the daytime running lights, are deactivated. Under the hood, we have a three liter dual turbo V6. Here's the coolant reservoir. Let's see how much power this puts out. Well, not too sure of the exact power output, but I would assume it's around 360 to 380. Feel free to leave respectful corrections in the comments below. Forgot to mention that if you switch off the ignition and the low beams were turned on, then it switches to automatic lights. It also switches back into automatic lights whenever you switch on the ignition. As you can see, But we're going to turn those back off so we don't kill the battery. So now let's talk about the climate controls. You can swipe left. You can adjust the temperature much faster that way. Same with fan speed. 
can put the climate in automatic mode. Up here you have the options for the auto start stop. To go back to manual fan speed, just push on the fan icon. This lights up red when auto start stop is turned off. Lane keeping assist. There's the presets for the radio. Garage door home link. This button folds the rear sunshade. And this, this button here changes what you see on the heads-up display. You can turn it on and off. You can turn the upper screen on and off with this button on the far right. Heated seats. Ventilated seats. On the driver and passenger seats. You also do have the climate menu. This button here is for the heated steering wheel. AC on and off. Climate system off. Automatic recycling can turn sync on and off. And you can pinch the bottom screen together to turn sync on. Let's try that right now. As you can see, that turned it on. You also have another button for the heated steering wheel. Options for the rear climate. Pretty much the same as the front. You can also turn the rear climate off and exit the menu. Max AC. Change the fragrance settings. Glove box. Quattro badging right here. Surface heating so that the interior warms up faster on a cold day. All right, let's go ahead and step into the back. This is also illuminated. The back of this vehicle is very spacious. You do have vanity mirrors. Rear window controls. You can also control the passenger side window like in an S-Class. You also do have... You can also tilt that open and open it. One touch automatic. And you can also close the sunblock. Then over here, so the left switch is for the rear sunblock and rear um, sunroof. Now, as you can see, this sunroof does not open in the back. You can only control the sunblock, but this controls the front, and that does open, and you can open it with the rear controls. Over here, 
that's to fold up the that's to fold up the sunshade to fold up or down the rear sunshades on the two sides you have to roll the windows down so those roll down first then you can roll the windows down volt power outlets sorry for the sun glare guys and when you fold this down you get the rear climate controls you can turn it off turn it on auto for both sides there is no sink back here but this is also how you turn the heated seats on and off three stage you can also change the zones if you didn't want to use the automatic mode. Very cool. You also do have some storage here. So it was a little tricky to open this. You actually pull inside the latch. It's a security feature. Rear illumination. And you also have the ability to lock and unlock the vehicle from the rear. Well that pretty much concludes this tour of the 2019 Audi A8 without starting the engine. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Smash that thumbs up in the face if you did. Also subscribe if you're new. Turn on post notifications. Do what you do best. Personally, I don't care which, but one last thing I wanted to point out is if the light control is in automatic and you push the high beam switch forward, that turns on the auto high beam assist. So the high beams will not turn on unless you exceed a certain speed and the vehicle detects that there are no other vehicles with their lights on near you 500 feet. So we're going to show you the difference there. With the lights on manual, then there is no auto high beam assist. You can turn them on and off at your own convenience. So when you're driving, you can only alternate between auto and on unless you go below that specified speed for either the parking lights or lights off mode. And you can also opt for auto brake hold, but if your vehicle does not have it, you can just pull up the parking brake whenever you come to a stop and the parking brake light will turn green instead of red. All right, peace out.